What's up guys? Welcome back to Behind the Chair with your boy, A. Sanchez. In today's video, I'm gonna show y'all how I do a little bit of grocery shopping. I've gotten a few messages from some people asking me if I can show how I do that. They're recently been injured or they're just trying to work on a technique. And to be honest with you, I don't do a whole lot of grocery shopping. Uh, I'd rather just pick something up quick, but I'm trying to save money. 2020, I'm trying to make some big changes. So I'm, try I'm gonna try to save some money. So I'm gonna do a little grocery shopping. I spend quite a bit of money on my lunch break, anywhere from 10 to $15. So today I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna get some stuff for lunch, maybe some lunch meat, some bread, uh, stuff to make sandwiches, some uh, some chips. So yeah, I'm gonna show y'all how I grocery shop. Before we get into the video, make sure you like, subscribe, share, and hit the bell notification so you know when all the new videos are dropping. And let's get to it. So what you got to do is, if you got this hand here, your other hand needs to be on the wheel. You got to balance it. So when you're going, boom, boom, and then you just get in the groove. You feel me? First thing that I want to do is, I want to get some stuff for sandwiches, so let's go get the bread. Another thing too, don't be afraid to ask for help. If there's something you can't reach or it's too heavy, just ask someone. Don't be scared, it's okay. There's good people out here. There was a gentleman standing right here. I saw this on the ground. It's not hard, it's not hard to pick things up. Come on people, we gotta be better man. Got the guy in the chair doing all this. Voila. Alright, so I'm gonna go with the whole grain. Alright, so I got the bread. Now I need to find the mustard, the lunch meat, and the cheese. So let's go find it. Bread, we got the lunch meat. Let's go find the mustard. Looks like we got a little traffic jam, but we need the buggy right here. Gotta get the cheese, chips. For all my people in the chair, you can do this stuff, man. Uh, every injury level is different, so I can't speak on everyone. But for the most part, if you're, a t I'm a T4, so if you're a T4 and down, I know you can do this. Because if Ant can, I can. It's behind the chair, baby. Go with the Swiss. I like Swiss. I just, I just need to get some chips. And uh, we got water at work, so I'm debating if I want to spend money on anything to drink when I really need to be drinking more water, anyways, to prevent UTIs and all kinds of other stuff that comes along with spinal cord injury. But uh, we're gonna take a we're gonna take a trip to uh, the drink aisle and see what we can find. Uh, but let's get some chips. Easy work. So we got waters at work. So I'm just gonna get some of these little things to add to the water. 10 packets. That easy. All right, so I got all the stuff I need to make sandwiches. Right now, 
I'm on a time crunch. I, I spend a lot of money at work on my lunch breaks. So this is gonna help me right here. I'll spend 20 bucks here and I'm spending 10 to $15 a day at work on lunch. So this is gonna help me save money. Yeah, man, that's how you grocery shop. So let's go check out. So the reason I use the cart, I only got a little bit of stuff and I know it could probably fit in one of those little baskets that they have, but some grocery stores don't have it. I know the Walmart by where I live doesn't have it. This store does have it, but I wanted just to show y'all on the video the way to push a basket and to show you that it can be done. Now we're gonna go check out and I'm gonna show you I do how I carry the bags. So I'm gonna put the bags behind my chair, but I'm also gonna push the cart out. So y'all get an experience that if I was still pushing the cart with the groceries in there, that you could do that. But if you only have two bags, you can hang it right here. So I'm gonna show you how I do that too. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you go grocery shopping in a wheelchair. Uh, back when I was injured five years ago, there wasn't many videos out showing how to grocery shop in wheelchairs. So this was always something that I always wanted to do to show people out there that it can be done. Uh, it can be a little intimidating at first. Uh, it takes some practice. You ain't gonna just come out and start pushing carts around. It takes a little bit of practice, but it can be done. And that's why I'm showing you behind the chair. I'm gonna take this basket out to show if there was stuff in here, how to take it to the car unloaded from the from the basket to the trunk and how to put the cart up but you know don't be lazy just because you're in a chair don't mean you have to be lazy so let's get it so first thing you want to do pull up to your car that should be whatever it is you want to park your brakes you don't want to roll off it get some more fun off the trunk in this case, I have the bags on my chair, but let's just say it was full with six, seven bags. You just pull the buggy close to you, reach in, grab your stuff, put it in the trunk. And since I'm gonna hang the stuff back up on my chair, I'm only gonna put it right here by the edge and face the bag outward so if it does move, it ain't gonna fall back and get places I can't reach into when I get home, because it could slide. Second bag. Then you just reach over. Pull this down, grab the trunk, shut it, and you do what you're supposed to do. Take the buggy back. Alright guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Hopefully it can help somebody who's been newly injured or even someone who's been injured for a few years and just doesn't have the courage to go grocery shopping. Uh, Y'all continue to support. If you have not yet, make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you know when all the new videos are dropping. I love y'all. I couldn't do this without y'all. And I'll see y'all next time. Peace.